Hi guys, it's Kiarko here, back with another speed build. This is a speed build of a 60s home, or I should say a 60s inspired home. It's not really gonna be that historically accurate, um, and that's just because uh, I'm not a historian, so sometimes I get things a little bit wrong. Um, but in general, this is inspired by uh, 60s interior design um, and 60s, you know, style in general. Um, so this was requested by Dalt Dalt, who did specifically request a 1960s mod psychedelic, or perhaps even like a London inspired home. Um, this isn't exactly that. Um, this is just kind of like 1960s style in general. Um, but I will say that that suggestion has like opened up a lot of things in my brain because I just love the 60s and I love like all the different things you can do with the 60s. So I will say that this is probably like one, like part one in a series of 1960s style homes I'm gonna do. Not probably not all in a row, but just probably as we go along with our lives, I'll be doing more 1960s stuff. Um, this is just one thing, one version of a 1960s home I came up with. Um, and this was actually inspired by a random photo I found on the internet, um, which often my builds can be, you know, kind of inspired by sometimes. I just kind of looked up 1960s home on Google and um, basically just saw a bunch of different um, homes that had like a similar you know, um, vintage architecture style. And there was one that kind of looked like this where it had very um, sleek, like blocky um, architecture to it. And then had like all these like red lines across it. I don't know, I thought it was really, really cool. Um, so I kind of was trying to emulate that here. Um, but basically um, this is a, uh, like a, well, it's not a family home. It's a single bedroom home. So I imagine just for like one or two people. Um, it's kind of like m small to medium size. Like I know it looks a little bit large right now, but the actual interior space um, that Sims can like go into and use is like a little bit smaller than what it appears on the outside. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this build. Um, I actually built this today. Um, today as in, what day is it? Oh geez, I don't even know. Wednesday, um, July 14th, whatever today is. Um, I built this right before I'm gonna upload it. <laughs> and the reason for that is I've just been very, very busy lately. You know, as you guys have heard me complain about constantly. <laughs> um, but this was really fun to put together. You know, I just kind of, just kind of winged it, you know, to be honest, like I usually wing my builds, like I do kind of go in with mood boards and plans sometimes, but for this one I was just kind of like, I saw an image that I liked and I just tried to make it and this is what I came up with. Um, but yeah, for the people who live here, I honestly, you know, I'm not too sure exactly specifically what they do. I kind of like the idea of them, or at least one of them being like an architect or an artist or something, because there is like an office space in this house um, that has like room to like meet people. So someone who has to like meet with clients, like whatever job that could possibly be. Um, you know, maybe a business person? I don't know, but that's boring. Let's say architect. Um, and they have some really cool cars out here. They have like this old vintage car and then this like little buggy. I think they're really cute cars. And again, please don't come at me if those cars are like from the 70s or whatever and this like totally isn't in the time period. I, they look vintage and it fits, so it's fine. <laughs> um, here I'm putting in some like greenery box things, whatever you want to call these. I actually do end up deleting these. I just wasn't really feeling, I don't know, I wasn't feeling like plants on this build. I don't know, like I actually delete all this in the end, so I'm sorry to waste your time watching this part. Um, but I just wasn't feeling like having all these like bushes and plants outside. I think it's because of the sleek, um, you know, kind of futuristic uh, architecture we got going on here. It just wasn't really feeling the, you know, the nature side of that, which is ironic because this lot is in the middle of a forest, but I just, well, I don't know. I, I end up deleting the, the plant beds and stuff, um, but you'll see that later on. Right now I'm just surrounding the lot with, you know, some fencing just to close it in and to make this, you know, uh, groundwork, you know, more uh, seamless in the environment, if you know what I mean. Um, and then we just have this opening space here so that cars can obviously drive in. I don't really know where this is located. I kind of just, you know, <laughs> picked a lot. Um, I think the reason I picked a lot that was in the forest was because the inspiration photo I was looking at was also like in a forest location. So I thought that that would like fit well with this lot and it does, you know? Um, but at the same time, I didn't want like a lot of um, plantscaping. <laughs> so you see all this plantscaping I'm doing here? I end up deleting it. Uh, what a shame. It is cute though. Like these little rose bush lines, it's cute. It just wasn't really fitting the exact vibe I was going for. Not that I know what vibe I was going for. I mean, obviously the exterior, the architecture of this home is very, um, what's the word? Retro futuristic, I would say. You know, like all those images, um, those artistic renderings um, from the 50s and 60s of what they thought the future would look like, you know? And it's all like very 
flying cars and really cool like mod inspired futuristic clothing and just really sleek design. Um, that's kind of what I was going for a little bit in the architecture. In terms of what we end up doing with the interior, I don't know if it counts as mod. Um, I, I should have done more research before I started building this. Um, but um, I think it just in general it was just 60s inspired, which is vague of me to say. Um, but you'll see when we get to the inside, let me know what you think. Is this mod? Is it psychedelic? Is it some other sub 60s interior design that I don't know about? Let me know. I'm sure one of you knows. <laughs> I absolutely love the 60s. I, I'm especially a fan, I mean, in terms of the style. Um, especially a fan of the uh, fashion at the time. I think it was so fun. I love like the, the very huge focus on shapes, you know, like they had very strong um, silhouettes in the clothing at the time, you know, like I can't think of an example. I can never think of an example, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like the very shape in intense um, clothing, the very bright, really interesting colors, the really interesting patterns. I don't know, I just really love the 60s for, for fashion. Um, but yeah, maybe one day I'll I'll be able to do my hair in like one of those, what are they called? Were beehives the 60s or beehives the 50s? I don't know. <laughs> I wish I knew more about the eras that I make videos about, <laughs> but I'm sure one of you will educate me. Please do. Um, but yeah, I'm also a fan of other decades too. Big fan of the 70s, big fan of the 80s, mm, fan of the 90s, not the biggest fan. Um, not a fan of the early 2000s, even though that's like coming back right now in terms of fashion, but regardless let's move on we're talking about the living room right now as you can see i put in this old-fashioned television which again i don't know if that's period accurate it looks old-fashioned and that's good enough for me um i have this really cool rug going on i really like it um so in terms of the level of aesthetic i was going for like i said i was going for a little bit more of a modern like futuristic updated take on the 60s um so it's not necessarily gonna look super old you know what i mean and also i wasn't completely sure if this would take place in the 60s like it kind of does in the sense that a lot of the appliances are older you know for example the television but again i mean supposedly this could be in the modern world and just someone who intensely loves the 60s like built this intensely 60s home um look at those mismatched colored chairs i love those it's so bright so colorful i absolutely adore it um i hope that my future home is bright and colorful you know <laughs> I, like I, I'm not a fan of, of modern minimalism. Like I understand it, and I understand why that that works for some people. Just for me personally, I would really want like a very beautiful, colorful um, home full of lots of art and patterns and just really interesting things to look at. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a blank wall kind of girl. I really like, um, you know, all the blank spaces being filled. I'm a maximalist. Um, as some of you may know. <laughs> but anyway, so we have that little dining table set up and we're gonna choose a painting to put on this wall. I'm really happy with my art choices in this build. I feel like they are, are I feel like they're reflective of the times, I think. I think these are pieces that look like they're from that time period. But again, I don't know. This is not a history class. Um, I am doing the kitchen right here. Um, I actually really like the, the floor plan of this home. I think it's really interesting. It's like most of the house is on the second floor, right? Like it's um, kind of a weird floor plan, <laughs> I don't know. And I just ended up with this interesting weird floor plan just because of the way the uh, inspiration um, home, the, the home that inspired this build was designed. It looks so, it had like a second floor um, living room and all that stuff. So I just kind of, you know, I went with it. So we have this like second floor living room and kitchen. Um, the room on the first floor ends up being a indoor swimming pool. Um, but we'll get to that later. I think that's one of the last things we do. But anyways, in this kitchen, we have this little table here. This, you know, just like a little kitchen, what's it called? A breakfast nook, I guess, where you can just sit down and eat breakfast, I guess. I don't know if it counts as a breakfast nook because it's like not technically in a nook. It's just like against a wall. So I guess it's like a breakfast, breakfast uh, wall. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then over here, we're just putting in some little details in the kitchen. Um, honestly, like, if I had done this build with, like, a <laughs> hundred percent more energy than I had when I was building it and then I, that I have now, um, I think I would have gone a lot more into the details. I do feel like I did put details into this build, but probably not at the level that I put into some of my other builds. And again, that's just because 
I'm very tired. Like right after I record this, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm literally going to take a nap right after this. So if I don't respond to your comments for a little bit, it's because I'm sleeping. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is the bedroom. I adore this bedroom. Like just simply for the fact of the architecture, I would love to have like these windows, like floor to ceiling, wall to wall windows on two of the walls. Like you get incredible sunlight, incredible view of the forest so freaking magnificent like my dream home full of windows and skylights like i absolutely want to feel like i'm outside when i'm inside you know like my my dream home in the bathroom it would have a, a skylight right above the bathtub so i could like lay in the bathtub and then look up at the sky you know wouldn't that be so great you know especially at nighttime if you could see the stars oh my god dream home you guys um anyways uh we are setting up a little office corner here we actually do have like a main office um in the other room um on this floor um, but this is more just like a private sub office you know where you would just do more private work whereas the office that is in the other room is probably more for like meeting people and more like official businessy things or maybe they like if this is for two people maybe they each have like their own little desk not quite sure it could you know work out some way like that um since i have like floor to ceiling wall to wall windows on both of these like on like half of the walls in this room i didn't have like a lot of wall space to put furniture so it, it's a little bit there's not a lot of furniture in this room but i do think it works they have the essentials they have you know nice stands they have a bed they have a closet they have everything they need it's fine um and then i quickly went down and replaced um my tiles with this lovely lovely tile absolutely adore it it looks very um vintage to me it looks very 60s i think um so i wanted to use it <laughs> pretty much everywhere so it's all on the bottom floor now um this is the little office space i was talking about as you can see the the stairway which you come up to enter the home has like a little landing in the middle between these two doors um which works perfectly right because then if you have um you know C clients i guess or like whoever this person is meeting with they don't have to go into your home to like go into your office right so it actually like you know functions as like a separate office from your home which i thought you know would actually be really useful in real life um but as you can see i'm putting in little furniture details here and there um let me see that little chair i tucked in the back left corner the one that has like a x-shaped bottom that was designed by ray and charles eames in real life i'm talking about not not in this game <laughs> um that was something i learned recently in one of my interior design classes you know it's interesting like <laughs> As I'm learning more and more about the history of interior design and like famous furniture pieces and famous designers and all that stuff, I realized that I like I have a lot of that content like in my game. Like I saw like my professor put up the image of um, that chair I was just talking about and I was like, oh wow, <laughs> I have that chair in my game. <laughs> and like it's happened to several like other, you know, furniture pieces I have as well. So in the future you might hear me be like, oh, you know, this chair, this is actually designed by this, you know? So that's just like a fun little thing going on in my real life is that I'm slowly learning that a lot of my um, custom content in this game is like from actual like real life very famous interior designers and that's like, I don't know, it's just really cool to me to learn. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think of this build. It's just like one take on a s one specific 60s look. This is not necessarily like the 60s home that I'm gonna build. I'm probably gonna, like I said, gonna be doing a couple other 60s inspired homes just because I love this era. I love all the potential color palettes and all the potential patterns I could go for. I'm, I'm really excited to do more 60s homes. I'll probably throw in like some 70s and 80s homes you know, here and there. I'm in a little bit of a vintage mood. I haven't done a period build in a while from what I believe, um, except for this one. So I'll probably do a couple more coming up. But as always, leave any suggestions you have, any, you know, comments, requests, whatever. Um, if you have a specific like decade request and like a specific style, let me know. Um, because I always love, you know, <laughs> trying uh, to tackle a, a certain decade. It's always fun for me. Anyways, as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time.